Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechakodash. The bonds the apostles, the bishop, and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutation unto the elect. All right? I'm with the brothers here in Chicago. And um, we're going to get into a quick lesson. You know, like the various topics. You know, and um, wherever the spirit spirit feeds us, we're going to speak to Akim. You know, the sheep of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And um, one thing about this truth, matter of fact, you get Proverbs 4, uh, what's that, 7? One thing about this truth, man, you know, this wisdom, okay, we got to get uh, understanding. You know, we can have all the knowledge and all the wisdom, but we have to have understanding because the understanding is what's going to keep us. Of course, you know, as the whole for elect, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. As the whole for elect, you know, uh, it's really your how about Shimei I was shy. It's gonna keep the spirit on you, all right? But the scriptures say, with all that getting, get understanding, which we got the uh, right. proverb. Yeah, this is uh, Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all that getting, get understanding. Right, we have to get understanding. We have to understand what we're a part of. And that's every day, man. We gotta meditate upon the scriptures every day and, and get more in tune with the Lord's program, you see? Because we're here to submit ourselves to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, we understand a lot of people, a lot of guys are not going to stay around in this wisdom. Why? Because they don't understand what they're a part of. Can we get, what's that, uh, the Sirach? Where it say, uh, uh, he just without understanding will not remain where? Oh, uh, 19? Yeah, yeah. Is it, uh, isn't that, is it 4 or 6? Uh, if I may say something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, when you, when, uh, wisdom basically means, uh, collective amount of knowledge and it says with all that getting get understanding and understanding is knowing how to apply it so it's no point of you having all this wisdom if we don't if we don't know how to apply it we have to be able to know how and when to apply it that, that's what makes us uh, wise man especially in the times that we're in this is why the lord told us and provided us with these words so that we may, we may know how to maneuver. you know yeah. you know it's yeah uh reason why he said these things man you know we can't just be moving uh, uh, around just like you know like oh i think we're untouchable nah. you know if you're not following the word or, or if you're not applying it better yet you know then uh hey the lord ain't, ain't gonna help you i got something for you since you said that this is rock chapter 37 verse 19 there is one that is wise and teach of many it's like the scripture said like the brother said yeah you can have the wisdom Right? You could be endowed like even the um wicked scribes and Pharisees knew the law. Mm -hmm. They knew the right things to do. They was instructing people the right way, right? But yet they didn't do any of those things, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all wish I call them hypocrites, you know? And we don't want to be that, man. Alright? That's why it says, uh, keep getting Matthew 7 and 24. Abu Pusha. Let me finish. It say Sirach 37, 19. There is one that is wise and teach of many. And yet it's unprofitable to himself. Why is that? Because here it is, right? We don't want to be in this knowledge, receiving this knowledge, teaching this knowledge, but yet the way that Paul said, you teach him another man not to steal, do you steal? Right? We want to be profitable unto our own selves. So the things that we teach, we must do. Right? Mm -hmm. Then it's saying James, it said, be ye not a hearer of the word only, but a doer. Right. Right? So, having this wisdom and understanding, man, like the brother was going into, the understanding is applying it, right? It talks about Sirach, the 19th chapter. I'm going to get this real quick. Sirach 19 and um, 20. It say, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom, right? Because it tell you in Job, it say, the fear of the Lord is wisdom, man, right? Yep. It say, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency, man. So if you truly got the understanding, that means you're gonna apply the wisdom that you have obtained. Because you understand in certain situations, okay, this is this time to apply this. This is time to apply that. But that comes with understanding, man. Mm. You know, understanding when to use the knowledge, when to use the wisdom, you see? Just like a fighting move, you can learn a lot of boxing moves, but there's a time to throw the jab, and there's a time to throw the hook. There's a time to, to, to duck and weave, you know, and so forth and so on with the moves, man. It's the same thing with the scriptures, but you got it, bro. 
this is Matthew 7 and 24. It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. So this is how was shot, man. He said, You gotta hear the sayings and do them. Mm -hmm. He said, A man like that is a wise man. All right, because why? You're building your foundation upon your house with shy, right? If I'm if I'm a strength coach, right, and I'm like, you're going to need the upper body strength to do this job, but this is what you need to do to build the upper body strength. You need to do push-ups and, uh, uh, and bench press or something, right? If I'm telling you this and you go home and say, okay, I got it, and you teaching other people, but you never go home and do the push-ups and the bench press and you never get strong, what's the point of you knowing, right? So now when the job comes, you're not qualified for the job because you're still weak. Right. You see? Go ahead, bro. You know, it's just like, y'all seen that one guy, that swole ass guy that be smacking the food off that fat motherfucker. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. supposed to be working out. Yeah. You know, that, that's what we, we, we got to apply it, man. Ain't no point of uh, us hearing it or knowing what it means if we're not, when we're actually kind of in the situation or we're out there in the real world, we're not moving according to it. That's right. It was, it was just a little. Yeah, like three more verses. Uh, verse Matthew 7 and 25. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and yep. the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Right, because you applied the things that you were learning, and now when the Lord came and tried you, you were steadfast because why? You were built up and you, you, you applied to your life the things that you were learning and teaching, man. So the Lord tried you like, oh, okay, he was, oh, okay. See, you've been working on calves. Yeah. Hey, you've been doing what I told you to do. Oh, okay. So now you ain't rocky, man. Why? Because you've been, you built yourself upon your house with shy, man. And the storm, the rain, the flood, all those represent what? The tribulation we're going to go through. Right? right. Uh, yeah. It says, verse 20, uh, 6 and 25, it says, And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house and it fell and great was a fall. See that? So that's someone who heard the word. He was wise, right? But he wasn't profitable to himself because he didn't do it. He didn't apply the wisdom, right? You teaching many people to do, you should do this, brother. You should do that, you know? You should do this. You got to do that. When this happens, you do that. But yet, when it, when it, when the situation presented to, to that particular person, he failed. Why? Because he didn't apply the wisdom. He didn't have the understanding of the wisdom, man. All right? It's all about applying this word, man. Okay? Yeah, you can know the, you can know what to do. But if you don't even plan, apply in what to do, then it's not going to be profitable to you, man. You know? Uh, I got one. This is James 1 and 22. Yep. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Wow. Right, yeah, you deceive your own selves, man. You know, because hey, you're only leading yourself more into destruction because now you're a hypocrite, you know? I think that you brought it out uh, in Lesser Rock, you know, there's many that teach it, that, that, that's wise and teach it many, but he is unprofitable unto himself. Mm -hmm. you know, you're even in a worse uh, situation because you knew better. You know, he that knew it, uh, what is it? He that knew how to do good and do it or not? It's sin unto him. I forgot to get that for you. And you... I know you got to go. Nah, because the brother said something. You're right. Because that scripture said, uh, deceiving your own self. Mm -hmm. If you understand that this going to be a time like nothing before, and we got to gird, we gotta, the Lord said, gird up with the word, you know, uh, 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 have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel, all these things, right? And we're not applying what he's telling us to do. So now we're in the midst of the battle, and the Lord like, this guy don't got no arm on. He finna kill himself. Yeah. You didn't deceive yourself, man, because you knew yeah. you was in a battle. Right. We're in a fight. You came to the fight with a basketball. <laughs> You're not dressed properly, man. And here he is. The prophets are constantly telling you, like, look, hard times is coming, man. You know? Hey. This is... Uh, no, I was going to say, you... when, when uh, yeah, that parable, uh, this is when the king came and he seen a servant and one of them was not dressed. Yeah. He's like, he told him what happened. He's like, he couldn't, he's like, he just took quiet. Like, oh, shit. You know? He said, how did you, he said, how'd, Fred, you, how'd you get in here without a garment? Right. Yeah. We supposed to be, we supposed to be cleaning ourselves up through the word, man. So the Lord come back, we can be found clean. Mm-hmm. Like you ain't no unspotted from the world. Right. 
And the only way to clean ourselves is through this is uh, following direction of the scriptures, being reprogrammed and conformed to the way of the Lord, man. Which takes uh, discipline. You yep. know, this is Sirach 6 and 18. Exactly. My son, gather instruction from thy youth up, so so shalt thou find wisdom till thine old age. So you gotta constantly be in this word. It's a routine. You know, like a bodybuilder, it constantly working on himself, you don't see the results, you know, right away. But you know that if you continue in that same routine, that it's gonna build and take it's gonna take time. Same with this, man. You gotta apply yourself, gathering all this wisdom, you know, gathering uh, understanding and applying it. This is verse 19. Come on. something real quick yeah. to bag you up. It's uh, Sirach 25 and 3. If thou hast gathered nothing in thy youth, Ooh. how canst thou find anything in thine age? Damn. So if you ain't been putting that work in, uh, uh, what does it say? Seek the Lord while... Uh, he may uh, be while, found? No, the... Uh, oh. Oh, seek the Lord in the days of thy youth, while the yes. evil days come not now, yep. or, the, or the days draw now, what thou should say, I have no pleasure in them. Mm. It's just like somebody going to work. Uh, 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 or somebody, for example, a guy never worked a day in his life. Now he's 50 years old and he want a retirement. Like, brother, you ain't been... <laughs> no. You ain't got no retirement plan. You never worked. Here's this job application. Right. You know? So it's just like it's the truth, man. And we're not... Hey, we're supposed to be those wise virgins storing up this uh, this oil into the lamps. So when the times come, we prepare. Like, we, we straight. Right. Others ain't going to be prepared. They're going to be like, hey, give us some of that oil. But it's like, what you been doing your grace period, bro? You been fucking off? Yeah. Nah, right. go to the sellers and buy, man. You see? So if you're not yeah. gathering your youth, when you get old, how you gonna have wisdom when you've been fucked off <laughs> high school? <laughs> you said fuck all that, right, so to speak. Yeah. And now it's like you looking for something that never was there. You know? Right, you never put away. Yep. This is Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge yeah. shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know, mm. if you have that fear, you're gonna be moving. All right, because hey. It, it you know love takes action right it's a, it's an action word so if you really love the lord you fear the lord and you're going to be doing what he's saying applying these words gathering up this instruction now yeah. before those evil day come how can the lord use you if you're not putting what in your uh, uh in your cup man what could he draw out right. nothing you you're, you're dry you as hell in, if you put nothing in nothing comes out <laughs> <laughs> that's wishful thinking brother <laughs> But yeah, uh, real quick, back in that Sirach, uh, Ecclesiasticus 6, I'll read it over. My son, gather instruction from thy youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thine old age. Mm -hmm. Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth, and wait for her good fruits. For thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right away. So, hey, you're going to get some treasure right away, man. All right, with, with how's that scripture say? With with uh, look at how much uh, little time I put into her, but I got much uh, fruit from her. I know it's in Sirach too, but you know that's the point. Is that hey, you gotta you gotta get if you want something out of this, you gotta labor in it, man. Mm -hmm. All right, especially you know what time it is, the times that we're approaching. All right, this is the only way out. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You gotta have that understanding, man. You know. This is uh, verse 20. Mm -hmm. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. So you got to get understanding. You know, back in that Proverbs, with all that getting, get understanding. I see. That's key, man. Because now you understand to when to apply wisdom. All right. When to, to be a fool to, like, you know, King David acted like he was uh, dumb drooling and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? That took discernment. That took a lot of discernment. Yeah, man. And the understanding. Yep. He understood that he was in a uh, like a weak position, so to speak. Right. He was a little afraid, but what did he do? Right? He showed, he played wisdom. He played crazy, drew. Yeah. Said, this is a crazy man, but he had much sense. Right. See, a, a crazy, a, a wise man can play crazy, but a crazy man can't play wise, man. Nah, nah. All right? And we might be in situations where we got to use subtlety and, you know, to get out of certain jams and, you know what I mean, just hey. to get by. <laughs> It's funny, I had like a, a dream uh, last night. It was just kind of funny, but it was like a like a woman, I, I like a woman um, or somebody, somebody had like a gun to me and I was like, oh shit, I can't act reckless because then she's going to shoot me. You know what? 
let me just uh you know you know uh let me just talk nice to you oh you're so you're real pretty and shit like that you know but that's that's wisdom you know instead of man bitch i don't give a fuck mm. that bitch will just fucking shoot shoot you you know yep, right. but that's you know uh, um and and um another thing is um it's it's not easy man it's not easy but that's why we got to be constantly in the spirit so that when we uh, uh these situations arise we uh, uh, may know how to react you know because uh, uh and, and the only way we're, we're we know how to react is according to the word how about you how shy why because we're constantly meditating upon it yeah. you know we're constantly uh filled with it. Yep. you know if you're not if you're not uh doing that then your reaction is going to be carnal you know yeah. this is uh if i may get this right quick this is galatians uh 5 and 16 it says this i say then walk in the spirit and you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh mm. for the for the lust for, for the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would mm. so knowing this flesh is a, is a motherfucker and knowing you know how quickly it is to react we got to be able to uh, uh be, we got to be filled with the spirit so that we will be able to tame it you know, that's why the scriptures talk about uh, 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 discipline and, and, and fasting and, and things like that, man. You know, we, we constantly do these things and hey, it's going to be easier for us to, to walk in the spirit, to react according to the spirit and not according to how, you know, our flesh wants to, uh, wants to do. That's right. I got something right behind this Colossians chapter three, verse five is going off what you said about practicing and killing this flesh. Because, you know, Paul mm -hmm. made the statement, said, uh, I die daily. It says, um. But the, he said, though the outward man perish, the inward man is renewed day by day. Day by day, the Lord allows us to wake up. We should be getting better. We should be better than the day before, man. We should be moving better. You know, trying to just be the better, the best version of ourselves for Yahweh by Shem man. Because when he comes back, we want to be accepted with favor. All right? But it says, Colossians 3 and 5, it says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. And mortify means to kill, man. All right? We ain't supposed to use this grace period to do what? As a cloak of maliciousness. You know, we've been already in the world, man, just doing whatever we wanted to do. Had no constraint, you know what I mean? No restraint on ourselves. Undisciplined, one time, you know? Becoming this truth is the opposite, man. We gotta have some discipline. We gotta have some structure according to the scriptures. And even within the structure of the Lord of things we can do and can't do, we even upon our lives and how the Lord is dealing with us, we make a structure of our own life, man. What did it say? Uh, prove that soul in thy own life and see what is evil for it and give not that unto it. Mm -hmm. So everything is not profitable for every man. So you got to know what's good for you, what's not good for you. The scripture also, as it's written, talks about not going away, but that will fall. So you got to know your weaknesses and know your strengths. That's part of the understanding and the truth. Okay. All right? And that takes sometimes trial and error. You try some things and... Oh, do you find out, oh, my body, you might used to eat chicken and fried chicken every damn day. Then you come to, to you know, you get some understanding, like, you know what, my body don't react a certain way when I eat this chicken, so I now I eat fish or something, you know? But it's all understandable. But anyway, it's uh, Colossians 3 and 5. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolat idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience, and the which ye also walk sometimes when ye live in them. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. So knowing in the house of the Lord, man, that old man is not acceptable. It say any man that's in the uh, Yahweh Shai is a new creature, man. Ooh, yeah, keep going. Oh, it's kind of. Um, it's lucky. Let me pull it back up. That's right there. Uh, Colossians 3 and verse uh, 10. 10. It say, and have put on the new man, see? Mm -hmm. Which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, Barbarian, Scythian, bond, nor free, but Yahweh Shai is all and in all. And that's, those, those are all Israelites, man. Yep. And no, no one be coming back to our uh, uh, commonwealth, okay? There's a certain way that we're supposed to walk. Because we were given the, the laws of life. Yep. And there's a way to conduct ourselves, man. We're not animals and beasts and thugs and all these, these labels that people put upon us, man. And when you understand that, now you're starting to what? Direct your way of writing this truth. 
All right? Especially for the times that's coming. Because the only way we're going to get through these times is who? Yeah, how about Shimmy I was shy having that hedge about us, man? That's why we what did it say? Um, uh, he that uh, procure of good, seek of uh, favor. Yeah. I think it's um, a Proverbs 11, I believe. Like 20 something. He that diligently seek of good, something like that. Towards the bottom. This. Yep. yep. Proverbs 11 and 27. They say, He that diligently seek of good, procure a favor. And what's doing good? Teaching the sheep, man. And that's a sacrifice. Because really, to be honest, the scripture said, Don't be over righteous, right? So we have a balance. But then it said, Don't be overly wicked. What does that mean? Does that mean the Lord gave us license to sin? God forbid. He's saying, Don't forget what you're really here to do. Remember it say no man that wolf entangled himself with the affairs of this life. Yeah. So we're not really regular people here, man. We're not we're not here to build careers and a 10 year, 15 retirement plan, 30 years down the line, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna be this big foul. Man, we ain't got time for that, man. Time is short. We're trying to uh, see good, man. Cause we want favor from Yahweh by Shimmy I was shot. But it says, but he that seek of mischief, it shall come unto him, man. That's a rebellious uh, servant, man. For which things sake the wrath of God comes on the <laughs> Ooh, children of disobedience. Damn. Well, there you go. Damn. <laughs> that time, when you yeah, lived up. That's right. God is a father, man. These, right on time, but shit. Salakia. Damn. That's right. The wrath of disobedience, man. Gonna come on those who don't what? The mischief should come to them, man. Right. All right? So that's part of the understanding, man. They do. The Lord's the only one to get us out this jam, man. That's it. Period, man. He gave us work to do. We supposed to be busy. All right? And understand what it's a part of. Hey, remember, we working for the king of heaven and earth, man. He ain't asked us to go out there and teach. You feel like going to teach today? No, he command us to go teach, man. Yeah. Okay. He command us to go to highways and byways, compel them to come in. And we got to be an example to the believers, man. So yeah. we got a big job, man. We got to really understand what we've been given. Yeah. Because when he come back, he want his with interest, man. Okay. All right, you you was all holding something? Did you ever finish that um that that's what was that? Some rock six? I he does un, um. I think so. Let me see. She is very unpleasant. Did we read that one? Oh, verse twenty. Uh, Sirach six and twenty. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. Yeah, you see, know? it keep coming that understanding, man. Yep. We all like getting get understanding. Yeah. Where, 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 where are we living? That's a, that's something we all got to ask ourselves every day. The Lord allows us to wake up. Why are we really here? What's the main focus? What's the goal? What's profitable? Diligently uh, uh, seeking good, man. We say, hey, what did it say since it was our mind to go astray? Seek now be in return. Yeah. Seek the Lord ten times more. Yep. The Lord is who he is. He, he, hey, he proved it. We read it. It's written. We got to prove ourselves to y'all by Shimmy I was shot, man. Ain't the other way around. He is already, man. Kind. You know? Where's um, you read 21? Verse 21, she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from him ere it be long. Right, so if you don't, a man with no understanding, he's going to cast the truth off. Right. He's going to get weak because he never understood really what he had in the first place. It's too grievous for him. Yep. But the scripture said, be as one that plow up and sow. You got to be ready to work, man. Night. Right. What pleasure? A, yeah. yeah, you got and you gotta enjoy. Man, man. If I get it, bro. Yeah, get it. It's Proverbs two. Yeah, we probably can. End, you had something else. We'll probably just end on this then. Proverbs two. And uh, I'll start at six. It says Proverbs two and six. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of His mouth come of knowledge and understanding. Whew. So the Lord has to endow you with the with the faculty to even understand. Yep. Was He giving that to the elect? It say the gift of the Lord remain with the godly, man. That's it. All right? It says, seven, he lay up up sound wisdom for the righteous. <laughs> That's the Isaiah 59, man. It said, this word shall not depart out of the mouth, uh, out of thy mouth, out of the mouth of thy seed, or the mouth of thy seed, seed, from this generation henceforth forever, man. Damn. This the gift that remain with the godly, man. Really, it all goes back to the elect. Because the elect are the only ones going to receive this word and actually apply it, man. That's why we ain't worried about all Israel getting it, man. You know, even guys that know the name of the Lord and know that Israel, hey, 
We ain't worried. Hey, we worry about the elect, man. The scriptures say, right? Paul say, I endure all things for the elect's sake. It say, he is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. The Lord is our strength. All right? That's our protection in these days. It say, he keepeth the paths of judgment and preserve the way of his saints. Once again, it all goes back to the Lord, man. But we're seeking, we're, we're diligently seeking good to procure that favor from the Lord. You see? Right. He gonna hold down those that been fighting for him. What does it say? Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. You know? It say, verse 9, Then shall thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, mm. yea, every good path. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. This gotta be Ooh. something that you, you enjoy doing, man. Our chief joy. Come on, man. man. What he say uh, uh, in Psalms? He said, "If I uh, let, if I, let, let the roof, let me, uh, yeah, let the, the tongue stick to the roof of my mouth and my right chief, hand forget her chief cunning, joy, uh, cunning. Un unless uh, I forget Jerusalem being my chief joy, something like that." Yeah. yeah. Hey man, hey, you gotta love doing this, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Hey, we have a lot. We got a real lively hope, man. We, man, you, you know, we, we, uh, what we're preaching, the kingdom of heaven, rulership. Mm. Not being a slave anymore, not being subject to payments out this flesh. All right. A new body. Everything perfect on us, man. No more bald spots and none of that, man. Just rulership, man. Righteousness. All wisdom being downloaded to that second covenant. That's the understanding. And when you understand that and that's your hope, hey, man. <laughs> Once again, it's only for the elect because they're going to understand that, man. Yeah. All right, let's say, but one who has no understanding, he's he's gonna cast it off because he really don't know what he got in his hand. Mm -hmm. Right? It say, verse uh, eleven. It's the point. It say, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, mm. to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speak with four things. So having this understanding gonna keep you away from false doctrine of strange women, right? Walking a, 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 a crooked way. Mm -hmm. They're gonna uh, understand it, gonna uh, keep you grounded, you know. So, hey, once again, we're all like getting get understanding, man, because that's what's gonna preserve. Oh, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times and strength and salvation. salvation. The fear of the Lord is our treasure, treasure, man. Yeah. All right. So, at the end of the day, man, hey, hey, we're diligently seeking good so we can procure a favor from you. How about Shimmy But at the end of the day, it's of the Lord that why the elect gonna stand, man. All right. Right. That's all I have. And with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth. And salutations to all the Akiyam pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, Wa Ababa Ba. Ababa Ba.